You might have had a time in your life, maybe that time is now, when you wonder, what in the world am I actually thankful for? You kind of forget about the things that you're grateful for. As Christians, we should always remember everything that we're grateful for, but there are certainly times when you can forget that. There are certainly times when you can take things for granted. You think there's these issues in the family. There's these issues in the workplace. There's health issues. There's a number of things going on. And there are times when you may be tempted to take that for granted and not be grateful. Uh, We're called to be grateful and we need to be grateful and we really should be grateful. We should have a grateful heart because of the God that we serve. But certainly there are going to be times and situations uh, that you will be tempted to not be grateful. Matthew Henry, the Puritan preacher, was in a situation where he very well could be tempted to not be grateful. Uh, He was robbed by thieves, and um, that would certainly be a situation where there'd be a great temptation not to be grateful. Well, this is what he wrote in in his diary after that occurred. He said, let me be thankful first, because I was never robbed before. Second, because although they took my purse, they did not take my life. Third, because although they took my all, it was not much. And fourth, because it was I who was robbed, but not I who robbed. That's certainly a great perspective to have, uh, being thankful for all that God has done. Uh, When he said that he's glad that it was not him that was robbed, it's a recognition that it's by the grace of God uh, that we're not the one out there doing the terrible deeds. It is by the grace of God Uh, that we do not receive the wrath of God. And so we can be incredibly grateful for that and incredibly grateful for all of the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. Now let me finish by reading Psalm 136. I'll try and get it on the screen here for us as well. Psalm 136. Psalm 136, verses 1 to 9. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for his steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast for his steadfast love endures forever. Let's remember just how great God is. Uh, Let's remember our many blessings that we've been given by him. He's our creator, our ruler, our master, our Lord. And let us give thanks to God for all that he is and all that he has done for us. God bless you today.